Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to the more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We're still exploring the areas around Hyrule, but we've encountered two Zoras who want me to go to Zora's domain and help Prince Sidon with problems that he's having. So we're probably going to be doing that fairly soon, starting off the speed of light. And we'll be having a look at other things as well. Now, we have this wheel here that starts this thing turning, this laser, which slowly goes around the entire place, barely cutting Link's hair, and it also hits that switch over there. So now, we can kind of create ice along this whole thing. <laughs> I can't believe that ice block actually was in a pretty good spot, surprisingly. But also, if we go all the way over here, we need to do more than just that to actually get further. And it also gets very complicated because I'm pretty sure there's something specific I need to do to be able to get a, um, a chest in here, so. But anyway, let me try and get this metal barrel onto this switch here. Please, thank you. Oh, but it's floating. That's a problem. So, what I need to do is figure out how to do this. What can I stasis? I can stasis some of that. But then what? I can put that ice there to maybe make things work out. But then I really don't know beyond that. How about we put an ice block over there? We can see the chest over there, but we need... I think what needs to happen is I need to lower the water, but then I need to raise it up again or something. So, let's just put a bomb over there, I think. And then, maybe even climb up this a little bit and go over here. So I think... If I get up here, can I stand on this light? I can. This seems like a really bad idea though. Okay. Climb on the light. Climb on the light. Climb, climb on the light. No, that's not what I'm telling Link. What are you doing? Where, where am I? I can't see. Oh my goodness, Link. You silly person, you. Oh, okay, there we go. And that should lower the barrel down. And allow me to get through here. But now, I need to detonate that. Which should make it spin around again, please. Yes. And then, I need to ice there. Actually, you can pro- No, that, that, that did break everything, okay. Also, please don't tell me that's a chest down there. Giant boomerang. It looks like a chest. This massive boomerang requires two hands. Originally used for hunting, it was modified for use as a weapon. The blades on the inner curves make it a bit tricky to wield. Your inventory is full. <sighs> My goodness, really? Really? This is a bit silly, anyway. Grab that. And now to figure out what I want to do, because I really want to make sure I get all the chests, and I don't have all the chests. I could restart, but I think what's best for this is possibly trying to blow up the thing from here somehow. Get on the chest. Get on, get on the chest. Just get on the chest, please. Please get on the chest. Oh my goodness. Or can you not? No, you can. That's not going to work, though. Can I, like, launch myself over? No, I don't think, that, don't think that's going to work. Ah, uh, this is... This is not good. I think I'm stuck. Unless I can figure out a way to activate that thing over there. Can I... S Stasis that does nothing. What am I supposed to do if I get stuck over here? And want to go back? I mean, I just don't know. 
Can I shoot an arrow through the wall? I don't think so. Can I shoot a bomb arrow that's going to activate the switch? Probably not. Oh my goodness, this is just not what I want. Yeah, that's going to be too high and then it's just not going to work. I could just re-enter the shrine as well. So how about this? I'm going to activate this now and then go back into the shrine. Okay, so jump down here, like, like that, and just open this chest. Opal, thank you for not being a weapon that I have to just throw something else out for. Is that all the chests in this shrine? It is. Ghoul. Ghoul, ghoul, ghoul. Ghoul? Good. Let's leave. Okay. Well, now that that's done, I suppose we should start heading towards... Zora's Domain, since that's where the Zora wants us to go. Just want to figure out what the best way to do that is. Probably just going this way and then... ...going towards the tower, so... I could have followed the path probably from Gaponga Village, but... I just want to... ...walk there somewhat... ...normally. Oh my goodness, stamina. Okay. There's also a little island there that I don't think I've ever been on. That looks interesting, so... Might have a look at that at some point. I do want to get... I don't think I'll get all the crocs, but I want to try. Bright-eyed crab. This crab appears in large numbers when it rains. One bite of its delectable meat, and you'll forget all your exhaustion. It replenishes your stamina when cooked into a dish. Cool. So yeah, it looks like you're supposed to go through stuff over there to actually get to the place, but I'm pretty much fine going this way. I think there's also some stuff over here that I want to look at. Oh, camera, get a picture of this bright-eyed crab. Get over here! Got him, I think. So there we go. But now, if we go over to here, I don't really want to get a picture of these yet, although I want to, I guess I want to get a better picture late picture, I suppose. Because we have some ore deposits, but it's actually Lumera stone deposits, so... These glow at night, and ice blue. We could see them in the distance before, but they're not glowing now because it's daytime, which is really sad, and I wanted to see that. I guess I could... Here, let me just start a fire to show you. Let me just get out some... flint, and some firewood. Just drop that there, and then... This should work. There we go, and let's sleep until night. And there they are, looking very cool. Let's just take a picture of that. They look like normal ore deposits, but they are very different. Oh my goodness, what is happening right now? Stalifos. 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 I don't know. They really don't have much health either. Oh my gosh, let me hit you. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, just let me hit you. Thank you. Just being super annoying right now. I'm just trying to do things and then other stuff gets in my way. There's Alphos Arm. The Arm of a Stalifos. That continues to struggle even in death. It can be used as a weapon, but it's very brittle. You can feel it wriggling when you strap it to your back. Oh, that's weird. That's so weird. I'm just gonna leave that as it is. Okay, let's blow up this stuff so I can actually get some of it. Limer stone. This mysterious mineral uh, gives off a pale blue glow in the dark, which some believe to be a, the souls of the dead. Apparently, this stone can be used as a base to make special clothing. Cool, that's very cool stuff. Lizal Forked Boomerang. This blue Lizalf... Blue Lizalfos in partic particular like this weapon. It has... Be it is... It is... Oh, it has one more blade than the Lizal... Lizal Boomerang. To give it an additional cutting power. 
and it still returns when thrown. Let me take a picture of that as well. I don't think I need to take pictures of individual ores, so I don't need to worry about that. But if I go to the Hyrule Compendium now, uh, the chests, I believe, the treasure, the Lumera Stone deposit is that. And one of them is also regular ore deposits, so. Just blow that up. Need to find a regular ore deposit again so I can actually take a picture of that. But anyway, let's start heading towards Sora's Domain again. Since I'm just that good at getting distracted by things. Oh my goodness. I have so much to talk about for so long without any time for a breath. And then when it does give me time for a breath, it's just so long that I don't have anything to say. It's so... Just why? Anyway, bright eyed crab. These might be useful, I suppose. There's quite a few of them here as well, so... Just grab all that I can. Even if I don't use them, just, just sell them. But anyway, we're getting to a very cool place. I like the way these trees and the bone, like, structures look. It's a very cool... overall look, so... Anyway... There's something over here. I think it's just... Hearty Radish or something. Yep. Now let's head over... Oh, there's a Blood Moon. Cool, so everything I've defeated can come back to life. Just what I've always wanted, and now these things here are just... Trying to make everything so much better for me. There's a sign, let me read the sign. While I wait for the Blood Moon. Examine, please. Hyrule Ridge, Zora's Domain, and Akala. I think I haven't taken a picture of this shroom yet, have I? Yeah, Highland Shroom. Take a picture of that, and then also... Delete that. Oh my goodness. Well, here we go again. Well, that one was different from last time, but still basically the same. And also, get used to seeing that a lot. You're probably going to just want to skip it in the future from now on. But anyway, hello. Hey, it's kind of weird to see a Highlander around here. <laughs> me, I'm a peddler, so I'm free to go where the wind takes me. Or the waves, or whatever, yeah. Oh, let me introduce myself. I'm Doma. Nice to meet ya. The Zora along Zora River have been telling Highlands to go see Prince Sidon. The prince is waiting over at Inogo Bridge, waiting to greet any Highlands that show up. <sighs> yeah, I met that so-called Prince Sidon. Thing is, he ain't, uh, no good. First thing he says to me, he says, I've been watching you. And then you, he says, what's your name? Uh, can you believe that? The, the heat? I don't need it. So I ran away from him, and all that noise, uh, now, here I am. So yeah, if you want to see a freak show, go visit Prince Sidon. Okay, that's a bit rude. Though I doubt he'll go for you, since you're not a looker like me. You just... what? More of Death Mountain, a color, or to Zora's Domain. Oh my goodness, I might follow this road. A little bit more. Looks like there's the stuff over there. But I think I'm going to have to go through the stuff over here, unfortunately, to get to the tower. Which is my main goal at the moment. I mean, going to Zora's Domain would be good, but the tower is what I need right now. 
So, I could avoid this stuff over here to get where I need to go. But, I'm just going to walk through it casually. Oh, there's one. Let me guess, it's Azora wanting me to go to Zora's Domain. Hey, hey over here. The tower's right there. Why can you not let me go? Oh, hey. This is the first time I've seen one. I'm Totika of the Zora. Aren't you a Hylian? You are, aren't you? Yes, I can tell. You are the most. You are most certainly a Hylian. A fate would have it as our Prince Sidon is looking for a Hylian like you. The prince is at Inogo Bridge right now. Will you consent to go see and see him? I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. Mm. Though, I'd like. I've kind of like you to go even if you don't want to. Oh. Hmm. Yes, it is decided. Uh. You will indeed go a and see the prince even if you don't really want to. Oh, cool. Ah. Prince Sidon is at Inogo Bridge, just over there. He is upstream on the Zoro River, which lies to the east of here. You will find him near the, that tower. Hylian, I'm counting on you. I'm counting on me to just walk in this direction, thank you. Doesn't look like there's actually anything over here, so I don't know what I was worried about. But anyway, let's just... I don't think that's the way I'm supposed to go, but maybe there's... It, it all leads over this way anyway, so... Ah, oh, get off the water. Just let me go. Oh my goodness, why did you need the, the dive off of that, Link? Okay. Anyway... Let's keep going. There's a cooking pot over here. It might also be good to mark on your map where a cooking pot is with a... Cooking pot stamp, but... I don't think I'm gonna need it. Let me just throw that away. I feel like there's supposed to be something else here, but I can't really see it. I thought I could hear a croc, but I think that's just my equipment jangling. What? You are. Hey. hey, come here. They really want you to go to Sora's Domain, oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh my, oh wow. Oh, whoa, it's a Hylian, a real Hylian. Um, I mean, you are a Hylian, right? Yes, I'm a Hylian. I knew it. I, I so knew it. Well, what are you waiting for? Go see Prince Sidon. Oh my goodness. He is waiting at Inogo Bridge, which is upstream of Zora River. Please listen to what dear Prince Sidon has to say. I know it's sudden, but you'll understand everything once you get there. Trust me, you'll see. Okay. Just let me, let me just go. There's a thing over there. But there are a few things to fight as I go this way towards the tower. So, let me just go through here as best I can. I could climb straight up or I could go follow this path, I think, so. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to do it, probably. Oh, hello. Let me just ruin your day. Just like that. Oh, hello. Gonna ruin your day as well. Gonna grab that. There we go. Easy. It's not that bad walking through here, I suppose, but... You know, I'm happier to have enemies attack me than, I'm ha than NPCs just trying to talk to me, really. Just why? Anyway, let's search this if I can, please. Please. Please let me search this. Also, this is a cool spot for a guardian thing to be anyway. Is there anything in this waterfall that I need to know about? No. Also, can I freeze stuff on the waterfall? I can. That's cool. We had that in one of the shrines, but I haven't actually ever found a use for it outside of one. So. But anyway, let's keep going up. Let's fight this thing. This thing looks like a stronger... Bokoblin, so I'm going to take a picture of that. Black Bokoblin. Much stronger. Just going to absolutely send him flying. Definitely a lot stronger. He also has a different we weapon. Spiked Moblin Club. Why, then why was a Bokoblin holding it? 
So strange. So very strange. Animal Bone has been affixed to this Moblin Club to greatly improve its, its damage. Can't carry any more weapons at the moment. That's fine. I kind of like this spear weapon for fighting these Bokoblins because it just means I can hit them from a distance quite well. Now, is this normal ore deposit? Yes, it is. Cool. Let me take a picture of that. And I might even blow it up just to try and get some materials out of it. Here we go. Some rock salt and some opal. Very nice. And that slots in with the treasure uh, page in the com Hyrule Compendium. Now, I think if I shoot those platforms beams, I can actually just knock them down. How did that miss? Oh my goodness, how did that miss? There we go. But that makes things easier to knock out and kill. Oh, hello. Oh, is that... How is that Moblin alive? How it's in the water. Blue Moblin as well. It's just in the water. There's no way it can survive that, by the way, so... I'm gonna try getting out my bow, or a different bow. Shoot that one down. Come on. Now I might try getting that chest, if I can reach it from around here-ish. Doesn't look like I can anymore, although... No, I can. Also, that moblin is just really stuck. Oh, but he can still shoot me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No, my, my, my thing and Oh my goodness. Okay, so he has a bow of some kind. Okay, now he's dead. Now that I knocked him into the water. I don't understand how that just worked. Anyway, there's a fish just over here that I can probably go pick up. Staminoka bass. Grab all that. Even the bow. Just everything. Shock arrow! A bundle of five arrows. Of, of shock arrows. Shock arrows break apart on impact, uh, channeling electricity into nearby objects. Very effective against metal and moisture. So there we go. Moblin guts. This prized ingredient can be obtained from moblins. Its odor is too pungent for normal food preparation, but still with some critters to make elixirs. Very cool. Anyway, let's actually try and get that chest back out again now, and actually keep moving. Just like that. Hunter's Shield, favoured by hunters for its rabbit design, which is said to bring luck on hunts. It's easy to use, but its durabil durability leaves something to be desired. Okay. Now, do I go up that way, or do I need to go further this way. I don't know. It's not really clear. What is clear is this rush room right here that I want, so... Oh, go back up, go back up, go back up. I don't think I'm meant to go this way, but I might. There's more rush room, so why not? I do need quite a bit of rush room. There's more rush room down there as well, but I'm gonna leave it and go up this way, since the tower is right up here. Basically. We're very close now. Although there are still some monsters to fight. Oh, I need my, my thing. My thing, you know. Ow. Ow. I might eat some food, you know. Probably a good plan. Nice. Very nice. Oh, hit him. Oh, I just broke that chest wide open. Oh, oh. And it's using a fire weapon, which means lots of my things are going to try and break. Let me put away my bow. And my shield. Change that to that one so it doesn't burn. And now, for meals, I have some good ones that can actually heal me. So let's do that. And let's finish you off. And I'm going to switch weapon to something faster, because that one's just too slow. Ow! Okay, hit you into oblivion. There we go. Okay, I might just get rid of that for space reasons. Make sure it's worth throwing. Okay. Another campfire here if we want it. There's also some more rush room. 
More rush room. Look at the rush room. Rush room. Going to climb down and grab that. Okay. There's also a hot-footed frog. Take a picture of that. And let's open up this chest, if I can. From inside the water. Some arrows. Am I really just in the water? Did I glitch into the water? No, I didn't. It's not allowing me to duck into it. Okay. There is a lot of problems. Oh, that's a bomb. And that's a tower. We could climb it and do stuff with it. But I think if I bring out my bow and then fire arrow that bomb, or just, you know, put away the fire arrow and grab out another regular bomb and just throw it at it. We can blow that up. Oh, fire. Oh my goodness, there was a bokoblin up in the, the tower and it just got fell down. Anyway, let's ruin your day. Let's fight a few things here. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Um, let's just do that and then that, that. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, I could cook some stuff while I'm here, I guess, but I don't think I really need it. I haven't really been focusing much on eating stuff, but I might as well cook a few things, since I've been using it a lot. Energizing glazed meat. Instantly refills some of your stamina will. The sweetness of the honey uh, perm permeates uh, the meat. Permeates the meat, giving it, it a complex taste profile. I think cooking just apples by themselves would probably be fine as well. For simmered fruit, that's pretty good. Cook that a few more times. I can also just do four probably and that'll be good enough. Any types of fruit also work just fine. There we go. Four hearts is probably a good a good number for now. Oh, Flurry Rush. I don't even know how I dodged that. I just thought he was attacking me and then I had backflips, so. Oh, please go over the edge. Please go over the edge. Oh, he got me. Well, there I go, over the edge. Just like I wanted. Oh my goodness. Broken bones everywhere. And you know what? I might actually be it might actually be worth equipping better armor for now. Since I can get up to twelve defense. That's pretty good, so. And I think I just lost all the meals I just cooked, but that's fine, so. Let me just throw that over there, blow that up. Oh my goodness, I burned myself in that as well. Yeah, it looks like I have everything just back a few minutes or something like that, so. I can at least increase my defense while I'm fighting these things as well with that meal, so. I can't see how much health they have, but I can see their bar at least still. Uh, can I please not focus on that? Thank you. Oh, get him. Ow! Get up, get up, get up, get up! Link, 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 link! That's just rude. Anyway, that's probably it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.